So for today, we're going to be looking at the Warlock's armor set from the Vow of the Disciple raid. Uh, I'm doing this pretty late because I've just gotten the armor sets for the hunt, the Warlock and the Titan. I've not gotten the Hunters yet. My luck has been pretty dog shit. So I do apologize that these videos are late. I do apologize that I haven't done any videos in general. I did explain it in my weekly video that it's just uh, depression got me really hard. And I just took a week off to really center myself. But... With that out of the way, I'm actually really pumped up to make some of this content because I have a lot of content. So let's talk about this armor set. First and foremost, you guys will notice that the armor set actually moves, which is really interesting. I really do like that they're making the armor a little bit more dynamic that way. Uh, my only issue with the armor set is just how strange the armor set looks, in my opinion. Um, yeah, let's just get right into it. So the helmet, I think, is the best part. I've seen a lot of people combine this with the Phoenix Protocol ornament, and it looks beautiful with it. But <clears throat> I my I think my gripe is the actual chess piece itself. The the thing that kind of irks me a little is if this had just looked a little bit more cultish, like maybe in the back, the the like the the things in the back, if they connected and went all the way down to the robe and then the robe was a little bit longer, I actually wouldn't I I think I wouldn't have really been this annoyed by this armor set. Uh, yeah, because I, I feel like it's just weird overall. Not like, oh, this is cool. Weird. It's just like, I just, under, I don't, I don't know where the direction is for this one. Um, I think easily the best pieces of this is the helmet and the boots. I think the boots are very usable. We're actually going to use these in the, uh, in the example set that we're going to make shortly. But other than that, I think the arms are de definitely usable as well, but definitely not my favorite considering the actual like arm guard is cloth not like armor and the white the white cloth on the arms also may take shaders either very well or very terrible i haven't decided because i haven't seen all the shaders that it takes uh speaking of shaders let's just get right into the shaders uh first sh for the first shader we're going to be looking at since this one is already showing you how eckerd echoed anger uh, looks i'm just going to be showing you another sh uh, red shader this one is carminica this is one of my favorite shaders from the game and as you guys can see the the best part from this is is easily the helmet and the boots the boots are really good because the red and the black are showing off uh almost really beautifully i love that the boots are black but the cloth is red but it's not too much it's not too little it's just right the helmet on the other hand is on the opposite spectrum pure black just the darkest black and then at the back you see red i think this the, the helmet and the boots are doing phenomenal jobs the arms i'm not a big fan of that texture for this shader so i'm immediately don't like that the chest is also unfortunate because as you guys can see the arms uh this is carminica's fault uh i will say the R, the Carminica shader does have a tendency to have this type of coloring on on cloth armor if uh, for it's one of the off colors that it has so it's unfortunate but other than that I think the bond also is pretty good pretty cool I didn't say that before but I do actually like the bond I don't like uh, how long it is but it's better than other bonds in my opinion and it also takes shaders pretty well uh, for the next shader we're gonna be looking at it's gonna be the Sato Tribe. This is like one of my favorite shaders in the game and not surprising that this shader is doing a really good job with this. So for the helmet, we have a really dark blue, which is really cool with the gray like electrical in the back. And then for the boots, also pretty interesting that the boots are actually taking one of the off colors that this shader has, which is very rare. So that's pretty cool as well. But it's also kind of concerning because you're getting you might have to be careful with the off colors for the boots but that doesn't look terrible in my opinion and then for the arms again the arms i don't know what it is because i definitely know the shader doesn't do this it might be the arms themselves that have like this distressed color on the like folds so i don't know i don't know if that's the armor or the shader itself or the armor itself if it's the armor then i hate this chest piece even more uh, for the last shade we're going to be looking at is the dreaming spectrum which is one of my favorite shaders in the game and again oh so it does take the off color interesting so as you guys can see from the boots the boots are taking the off color which 
is still good i still think these are really good boots it just depends what the off color is if the off color is really bad then you might not want to use that sh that specific shader uh for the helmet we have this really dark ivory which is really cool or really bright ivory i should say and then in the back you see the actually i think that's the off color i don't really remember which one the off color is for this one but overall the the shaders it takes shaders really well in my opinion uh I think the only thing that I don't like is the arms. The arms are kind of weird in my opinion. So like I said, uh, everything pretty much is really cool about this set except the chest piece. I think the chest piece is the only piece that I don't really like. Uh, again, if they had if they had connected the back pieces of the shoulders together and then made the robe all the way go down from that, that would be cool. I think that would be really sick. but. Let me know what you guys think about the armor itself. We're going to be looking at the, the example armor that I made for this. And let me know what you guys think. As for the example armor, this is it right here. I ended up using two pieces from the raid armor set just to really show you guys how cool this armor set can look with certain pieces. So obviously we're using the helmet and the, so obviously we're using the helmet and the boots, but for the chest piece, we're using these scorned Baron robes. I love this chest piece. It's one of the best chest pieces that the warlocks got. I'm also using the blood lineage bond just so I can have a little bit more chains. And then for the exotic, we're actually using the, the nothing manacles only because if you guys know, there's actually chain in that in that uh, exotic. It's on the arms or the hands specifically. So I actually love how this came out. I love, love that the Burguzian Knight Shader made the like the spikes on the helmet have the off color which i didn't even know it did so just be aware that the horns actually may use the off color as well which i think came out beautifully let me know what you guys think in the comments below warlocks let me know what you guys think about this armor set i actually do like it again i just think that the chest piece is like the weakest part other than that every piece is really really cool and uh that's pretty crazy considering that like the hunter and titan i don't think i give that much praise actually the titan i think i do give that much praise but the hunter definitely not the hunter is definitely the weakest one in my opinion but you guys will you guys will hear that when i talk about that in those videos let me know what you guys think if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links in the description below let me know what you guys what you guys want to see me do content related just might as well throw your ideas out um because i'm gonna be trying to expand on pretty much a lot of things so be safe and i'll see you guys later